Oh, it's a heart. It's a straightening heart as well with the top set. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? That is, uh, this is probably the king of hearts. 10-8 suited though. We call Crixus. And we have an eight, which is kind of hard three ways. I'm not looking forward to our situation here. Because I think if we analyze Crixus's range in the spot, if they bet, you know, they're gonna have some kings. Uh, they're gonna have some diamond draws. They might have some smaller pairs. I don't know actually if they do or not. But it checks around. Four in the turn. This is a good turn for us. This is a really good turn for us. So I'm gonna bet here. After the two two, you literally won every single hand and won the three way in like six hands. I know, dude. I don't I don't exactly know what happened there, Big Ben, but we won all the chips. Crixus calls. And it depends on the river as to whether we should call or not. Let me check the river. 200 bids come coming in from Justine OX. Thank you, Justine. Appreciate it. Thank you for those 200 bits. I appreciate the support. So to call or not to call against uh, Crixus, I can't believe they checked. I really can't. Wow. Okay. And all in from Bapzang. Now our stack is like nine blinds, but they are shoving for 17, which I think makes it a fold with ace eight. Sevens against sixes here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Sixes. Get it done. Sixes, uh, nice river there for the sixes. We need some chips though, man. Eight minutes left until we take our stack through. And uh, 1.8 million to start this hand is not great. Hype train level one on the go. Beat car dropping the 31 month resub. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Appreciate that. My fiance for real, for real, man. It's true. I know, guys. I know. Uh, pretty crazy. I think this is our moment, actually. By the book, it's just a go with it here. Uh, the min raise is a little weird. Yo, Doug P. Gifted five subs to the community. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate that very much, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Against Jack-10, we're ahead. We're ahead. We've got it. Come on. Let's go, dude. 3.7 million in the milli. The party poker million. Let's keep it going. King-10. We are in the money here, though. It says cash. It just hasn't updated yet. 25, 76 cash. 29 in bounties. We've got another opportunity here, chat. Can we get a second win today? A second tournament win? That's the question. Can we make it count? 48 left. This is our double up opportunity here. This is the one. This is our time. Let's get back into this tournament. Ace King is Jack. We need a heart. Yes. Good. It was looking pretty bad there for a second, but we survive, which is fair. You know, to be fair, I, I call it fair. First of all, this is an all in in the classic. We're just trying to spin up the stack and uh, pretty good spot, right? Seal flipper goes for the re-raise. East Jack is 10. We are in big trouble. 10 ball is not coming. That's it. I'm gonna jam. I don't know if it's right. I am pretty sure it's profitable, but I don't know if it's the best line over like a min raise call against one reshove and then fold against two. Uh, we lose the flip. Okay. GG in the 320. We're not going to re-enter either with 17 minutes left. I think a bad idea. We'll put the 530 there in a second. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not convinced as to what the right line is pre-flop, but we don't have any chips left. We're going to go all in with the King-10 of hearts. This is not very good. We are dead. I will re-enter this one, though, for sure. No bounties in the 55 deep stack, so... In sort of a spin-up situation there, again, 5-6-6 six, six here, they bet we call. Up an open-ender, it's a really good flop for 7-8, right? Um, so I like representing here. We don't necessarily have to do it right now on the flop. If we had a 6, if we had a big hand, we'd often call on this board, I think. It's a raise from the big blind. Uh, I think I'm going to back raise. This is going to be a bluff a decent amount of the time. Now we're going to fold, I guess. Uh, maybe an open-ender is good. Maybe. Oh, they raise an early position too is the thing. Yeah, we still fold though. I was going to do that if they didn't, but they shove, which means they have an overpair, and uh, that was a bluff, which is uh, really too bad, I think. A frustrating outcome because that would have been ours, I believe. The ace eight, we're going to rejam against the button min raise in this uh, $27 bounty hunter. Get a call from Relax. Sixes. Hit me with a spade. The ace, the eight. Can't do it, dude. Can't do it. One is enough, apparently. For us today, $63 cash, but that's the end of the journey. 
bet the A6 of clubs and the 33. And let me see what I got here. Just fast play. There's going to be some check raise bluffs here. Uh, and there we saw one. Which means pretty good to win a pot with ace high there, I think. Sevens in the 530. Hash match. Making it 12.50 to go. And we just call here. Bit of a thousand. We call to the turn. Which is a three. We're going to lead the turn. Much better for our range than theirs. They're going to call with most hands here, I think. Um, raising, they're saying that they have sets in two pairs. Calling, they can have all the over pairs. They can have heart draws. They can have uh, ace four suited, ace three suited, ace two suited. Jack nine suited, 10 nine suited, nine eight suited, like a lot, you know. Um, we lead and we take it. This is interesting. Hit me with the 10, hit me, hit me with the 10, come on. How can you manage a big stack? Well, everyone else is short. I mean, I'm supposed to play a lot of hands, but it, do it doesn't and good most of the times from Pizzoula. I don't understand the second half of the question. I wouldn't worry too much about big stack, short stack when you're like early stages like this. You know, like, uh, Let's say I had triple starting stack. It's not really going to change my strategy too much. You know, I'm just trying to win chips however I can. And if my opponents aren't giving me any ways to win chips, well, I just have to play straightforward, whether I have a big stack or a short stack. I just need to pick up good hands, right? My opponents are playing super tight. I want to play aggressive, whether I have a big stack or a short stack. Um, well, it's pretty annoying. They check twice and they raise turn. We call with the set. And... Um, it's, it's frustrating, right? <laughs> like, do they have a straight? Do they have a straight? Are they going to check the flop and then check raise the turn with a jack? Can they possibly have kings? Could they possibly have all of the missed spade draws or diamond draws? Covering for a bounty? I don't really know. The line doesn't make sense. Squeeze pre-flop, check flop, and check turn with the jack. That's a lot. They could have pocket jacks. That's probably their most likely hand here, actually, is pocket jacks. That said, I think I'm going to call. We're getting about four to one odds. We need to be right one in five times, plus a bounty, a little bit less, actually. So we'll call. They have jacks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, disappointing. We're going to have to re-enter here. Go for the ace king, raise it up, 32-20. And we also have aces in the 530 as well. So a couple aces. Simon Trainer calls. Just check, check here, right? We're not protecting from anything, really. Um, you can do some bluffs, potentially. I need you four bets. We will five bet all in. Wow, we have a lot of action right now. <laughs> we have aces in the 530. I can't even show it. We bet on the turn with the aces. Uh, we get it in against I Need You, who's playing aggressive here, I Need You. Damn, dude. He is not letting us have a second. Make it 13,250 here. 13,000 flat, actually, against El Cuki. Thinking a call. All right. 8,500 sounds good to me. And we're ready to go. Uh, it's most likely hand El Cuki has calling the four bet is with us having the aces blockers, it's probably more likely they have kings and queens than ace king here. Uh, in which case, you know, good. So let's hope for the kings and queens. It's possible they have tens and nines, but not super likely. Kings, queens, jacks, so much more likely. Probably uh, jacks based on the amount of time this is taking. Jax is the most likely hand, I'd say, here. It folds. And if they had Jax, good fold. Yo, I just played an incredible pot in the 55. You guys didn't get to see it because we were chipping up at the 530. So let me play it for you, right? So a min raised to 1100 and all in for five blinds. So we cover them and they have a bounty on their head, right? For 13 bucks. So we go all in for seven blinds because they've got a bounty. We're ahead of them. It's worth it with the uh, the money in play. Checks around. Ace of the turn. Five on the river. We're the only one with an ace. Boom! Get the bounty and the chips, fam. Let's go. 13 bucks we just got from seven blinds. And ace four offsuit. Four ways to the flop. Let's go, dude. Pretty annoying. It's four ways here, but we want protection. And there's a lot of money in the pot, so I... Just gonna rip and feel kind of gross about it because we're not doing very well at all when they have a flush or at all when they have ace jack but there's so much dead money too this sizing is weak this this call is weak so i don't really know what i like man i'm i'm more worried about this for sure than this i mean this is probably just like a king of clubs a queen of clubs maybe an ace of clubs reshove from brad's uh, i don't know 
I hate it against Brad, dude. Brad can has, have his dead or in such terrible shape. King of clubs? Probably. Mm. We win. Wow. Okay. Ace of clubs was tanking. I think you have to call covering for two bounties there. Uh, King of clubs and we win with Jack 10. Well, now I look like a genius. So thank you, poker gods. Because sometimes we just look like a moron and you made me look good and cool. So I owe you one for that. Thanks. Gonna fold. Uh, we have a player behind. We only have one card to come as well. Board pairs. I think it's fine to fold there. Uh, we're gonna go all into the eights here. The twos. Raise, three bet, four bet. I'm out. You guys do war. I don't even care what happens there. I want to sweat the eights here. Okay, you can see it. Ace, queen against jacks. And um, I don't think we're doing very well. Hopefully, Marios has ace, king. Uh, king, queen. Well, that's pretty wide. They've got the chips, though. Uh, we can re-enter, and I will. The aces. A limp, a min raise. <laughs> Getting super sneaky. I'm really hoping they're going for the limp re-raise here. It didn't happen. Dang it, dude. I was trying to get super sneaky because we're so deep, right? We're like 90 blinds deep. So the chance that they limp re-raise and just go wild is pretty good for us. Well, someone's got the king of hearts, right? Uh, in which case, I want to play it fast. So frustrating because we might lose the opportunity to get all the money, but I'll probably just lead on the turn. Oh, it's a heart. It's a straightening heart as well with the top set. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? That is, uh, this is probably the king of hearts. Probably. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten outs, 20% on the river to make the best hands. Probably. And they've given us a good enough price to call. So we call. Great. Now hit me with the ace on the end. Oh, what? A nine beats us too, man. It's a frustrating hand, dude. I mean, I want to just jam it on the flop. But with the intention of getting a call from kings with the king of hearts here. Or the one other combo of ace-king with the king of hearts, whatever. Uh, we fold now for sure. We're going to go for it here. 1375 bounty coming up. Hopefully. I mean, we have to win the pot. But I'm confident. Well, that sucks. <laughs> somehow, somehow we lose there. Okay. Well, that's too bad. We're slow playing with kings, trying to induce action behind. And we do induce action. What is going on here? Kamikaze call. What are you thinking about, my friend? I'm going to call from Mog Vision. Uh, now I'm just going to back raise, I think. Just going to back raise it all in there, 68k. Hopefully, um, there is a call from Mog Vision with queens, perhaps. No. All right. 78k. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got DW Stevie on our table in the Twitch Open. Good luck. Queen Jack suited, we raise, no regrets, is gonna call. Get a call from Kamikaze call, and three ways to the flop as well, King, Queen, three. Just start with the check here, actually. Winning since 95, what's up winning since 95? We also get raised with our sets, we call, let them do their bluffing if they have bluffs. Gonna try and get the bounty, see what happens, they fold. And a bet on the river come from Kamikaze call, which is pretty surprising, actually. That ace is better for our range than theirs, and we block Jack 10 with the Jack. Oh no, bottom set. It's so frustrating, dude. That hand definitely makes sense. But I like our bluff as well because uh, we're gonna have some big sets, you know, some aces, kings, queens. We're capable of having jack-10 suited as well and checking back the flop. Um, and we also block the jack-10 straight, which is mainly what we're worried about. They also don't three bet pre, so they don't have kings and queens. So I really think our move is pretty gangster there, actually. I like it a lot. It's just unfortunate. We run into bottom set, which is, Realistically, the one hand I'm worried about there, or the Jack-10, even though we have the blocker. You know, like, the, it's those two. That's kind of it. And everything else should have to fold, I think. You know, like, Ace-Queen is the best they can really have other than that. All right, we're going to 4-bet here with the Ace-King suit in the 530 knockout. Come on, Ace-King of Diamonds. Ace-King Diamond. Yeah, come on, Barry. Let's go. Come on, dude. 73,000. We're back at the 530. Let's go, chat. Okay, we win. Look at this. Ace, king, ace, 10, queens. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. We spend this time together and something. Da, 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 boom, 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 boom. Anyone with me on that one? Line versus blind. We get a big raise. We call in position with ace, 10 to a flop of queen, nine, three. Backdoor spades, ace high. I like calling a bet here on the flop. Let's see what happens. 
turn a jack of hearts would be great. <laughs> let's get let's get a turn jack of hearts. Jack of diamonds, not. Oh, I wanted a jack of spades, by the way. So, <laughs> not not the jack of hearts. The jack of spades is what I wanted. So that's my bad. I called for the wrong card. They bid eleven eight. Again, I think we call in position here. We're gonna have a pot size bet left on the river. Uh, an eight or a king specifically. A king is great because it gives us the nuts. Ace on the river. This might give us the best hand, but let's see what their action is. Because if they jam, we have a pure bluff catcher. We don't block the king of spades or the ten of spades. Very relevant infos. They bet pretty small. A third. We call. We call. Ace king. Okay. We have made the money here. Red felt hype chat in the 33 big bounty hunter. An all in for five blinds. Another all in for nine blinds. Got 28 bucks in bounties here. Is it worth it to gamble with a hand as bad as 4-8? I don't know, man. Probably not. Definitely not now. It's got to be close against these two, though. That would have been fun. <laughs> King 10's going to be a jam here for 1 point or 12.7 blinds. We have 33 cash, $8 in bounties, but we're a long way away from victory here. And here is step one. King, King 10 on the flop. King, King 10. On the flop. 10. 10. On the river. Okay. We lived a life and it's over. We've got her all in in the 530 chat. We found our profitable moments. We just had to wait and this is the first one we got. Against 4 7. And they win. That's too bad. GG in the 530 gladiator. We're not going to make a chat. No bounties or anything. 63rd position. <laughs>